Scientists just cloned a human embryo. 50,000 more and I'll have my army. Anthony here for DNews, and we talk about stem cells a lot. Just a couple weeks back, we saw them used to build a new throat for a girl who was born without one. We've seen organs made in labs. Stem cells are at the forefront of regenerative medicine, and they are kind of poised to change everything. But there's still that classic stem cell problem. The most effective stem cells are embryonic, and harvesting cells from embryos is bogged down in a lot of legal and ethical debate. Uh, a team of biologists thinks that they've found a way around that, but it could actually put them in the center of more conflict. The team from Oregon Health and Science University made an embryonic clone of a human from a person's skin cells and donated eggs. Cloned human embryo. What? Then they harvested working stem cells from that embryo. The technique they used is called somatic cell nuclear transfer. It's the same way Dolly the sheep was made. Basically, the nucleus of a mature cell, in this case a fetal skin cell, is put into a human egg that's had its own nucleus taken out. And then they stimulate the egg and it starts to divide and grow. When it hits about 100 cells, which is called the blastocyst stage, it has a bunch of embryonic stem cells in it that scientists can harvest. The stimulating is the hard part. Coaxing an embryo to grow easily, consistently, and without complications has been the major roadblock holding SCNT back. So, how did the Oregon team make it work? Caffeine. Adding caffeine to the chemical mixture that they used to stimulate cells made them divide properly just about every time. Which makes sense to me because I have always believed that caffeine was the secret to life. The cells they harvested from the embryos were able to be turned into everything they tried to recreate, including beating heart muscle cells. So wait, here's where the moral quandary comes in. Can we clone humans now? Would that embryo have developed into a person? The team says no. They are using techniques that they perfected on monkeys in 2007, and none of those embryos were able to survive into maturity. They say the human one wouldn't either, and they're gonna publish a paper soon that explains exactly exactly why the techniques they use would not work to advance human cloning. But an embryo is still an embryo, and under current laws, the team can't get government funding for embryonic stem cell research. And while the stem cells are versatile, more testing needs to be done to figure out if they are in fact more versatile than IPS stem cells, which are made just by reprogramming skin cells into thinking they're stem cells. So this is potentially a big leap, but inexpensive, easy creation of embryonic stem cells is still a long way off. How do you guys feel about this research? Is a cloned embryo ethically the same as a harvested embryo, even if it's unlikely to grow into a human? Uh, let me know down below and subscribe for more D News.